Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thanks for joining us in today's Tips and Tricks video. So folks, today I have to tell you, the developers did it again. What did they do? Stay tuned and find out. Hey folks, welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel. Really appreciate you joining us in today's awesome announcement from X-Lights and a huge, huge shout out to Scott Hansen for what he's gone and done. And I'm going to explain this. I'm going to try to explain this uh, as best as I can. So we had some challenges uh, when doing some model exports. Back in August, I'll tell you a little story. Back in August, I'm sorry, June of 2020, Keith reached out to me, and I didn't understand what he was asking at first, but whenever he added the enhancement, it made total sense. And we had finished doing uh, groups for the PPD wreath. That was probably about March or April, and we had finished doing these groups, and people were buying the PPD wreath or buying these high dens uh, high density, the Ice Queen Snowflake, and so forth. And the groups associated with these all had our uh, submodels built into them. So you, here you see the Snowflake groups have the Snowflake arms, rings, and tips. And what Keith did, he made an enhancement so that when you exported, whenever you right click, let's see if I can grab this here. Whenever you right click. Come on, there we go. Right click, export X Lights model. Whenever you do that, what it does is it wraps up all of all of the data and the groups associated with those specific models. And what's nice is, is that you're able to then go into your layout. So here's your layout. You're able to come in here and right click and import, uh, or I'm sorry, click and drag, and then you can come in and import uh, a model and we're going to do that here in just a second. But the problem was, is if you already had existing groups, the models were not populating together. So, for example, here we have snowflakes, and that's what we're going to go do. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you this enhancement and where things have changed and where and why it's beneficial for you to go ahead and use this option whenever you, if you buy a sequence or somebody else let you borrow their layout, um, you can extract from their layout very easily and import very easily into your layout. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And that's exactly uh, what this video today is all about. So I'm going to right click. I selected the, uh, this is a Boscoyo Ice Queen Flake. I am going to click the uh, export X Lights model. And I'm gonna save it in this directory. Now, I believe this is the new pop-up box that Scott added. And I'm going to go ahead and check. I don't know if this is a bug or not because it already created it. This might be a bug. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and select all of the groups that I know are associated with the snowflakes, which is five. It's in our all house decorations. And then we have a logical group. It, see how it has these checked here, snowflake arms, rings, and tips. So it's selected those already. I'm going to click the snowflake but, uh, box here too. And now that I click OK, that should um, that should be what we need to go in here and say, now I want to add in the uh, Boscoyo Ice Queen Flakes. Let's go ahead, click Import, and we'll draw out the model. We'll select the model that we exported, and now we're going to open it up. Now it's real big here, don't worry about that. It says model contains model groups that already exist. So this, the snowflake model group exists. Would you like to add this model to that existing group? Of course I would. So what x -Lights is going to do is now take your snowflake and put it in the snowflake group because the groups were named the same. So if the group's named the same, see how it says snowflakes, and over here I can't show you because it doesn't show you up here. I'm going to hit yes. Now we have a couple warnings and you're going to have to work through these. Usually you're just going to have to click OK probably going to do is it's probably going to build that for us. It's going to bring that in for us. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll, we'll check it, it will bring in along with it the group, uh, it will group those props into it that we're importing. So we're going to go ahead and just click OK through this. Uh, again, we're just going to click OK, click OK, click OK. And now we have our snowflake in there. But let's scroll up and see 
And as you can see here, we have the snowflake arms, snowflake rings, and snowflake tips. Um, and then the snowflakes group. So the one thing we do have to do is we have to go back and we have to go into the snowflake group and we have to come down here and find Boscoyo Ice Queen Flake and pop it in right there. So that, that now completes pretty much all of those additions that, um, that were in the, uh, in the groups that we imported. Now, you'll also know all house decorations came in. And what you'd have to do, if you want to use this all house decorations group, you'd need to add in all the props that you consider the all house decorations. In, in our instance, we consider spinners and snowflakes and the door restar and the PPD, re things like that. That's a house decoration. Anything uh, window outlines to us are not decorations so and neither of the columns so uh, this is rather exciting because when we get into really crazy stuff and I'm about to share with you a very exciting secret two new snowflakes from Boscoyo have arrived and I'm gonna bring those in and now that those groups are here let's see if those import as well so let's go in and uh, we have the new diamond flake the PPD diamond flake uh, I'm sorry, this is the chroma flake, not the PPD flake. Let's go in and click OK. See, uh, models contain groups that already exist. Would you like to add them? Yes. And so it added it. It didn't give me a whole bunch of other stuff. And now if we go up and we click on the snowflake arms, the arms are there together, the snowflake rings, and the snowflake tips. And so now you just imported a model into your layout. As long as that model was exported the way that I showed you, it should populate itself, except except in the main case where the main snowflake is. We just have to go in. We can right-click. Um, let's uh, add selection to the snowflake group, and that's it. So, guys, I think this is a rather awesome addition into X-Lights. Uh, a little bit of a long explanation, but take your time with this. And you too can really quickly begin to add in things that you might find from other layouts that are very helpful. And what you can do is just export these models and then import them right into your layout. Now you have to be you have to be in .21 uh, or in 21.4, and if you're not, um, the model groups will still come in, but they may not populate. In any event, this is a huge addition, and I really wanted to share this with you all. Guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you like the video, please hit the huge that, that, that thumbs up button down below. We really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Also, you can join us in our PPU Facebook group and our community. It's really awesome. People are very nice and generous, and, and, and they answer questions, and they you know we all do our be the best we can to get you great answers. And then, of course, if you appreciate the content we do here on the PPD YouTube channel, would really mean the world to us if you join the PPD Sequence Club. One month, it starts at $49.99 for the first month, drops to $39.99 the second month, and then you get one awesome sequence each and every month uh, that's new to the store. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.